When the classic TV sitcom Green Acres was canceled in 1971, the entire cast went their separate ways. But what about the most popular cast member of all, Arnold the Pig? What was his ultimate fate? I'm Jim Benson, host of the radio program TV Time Machine. In this video, I'm going to reveal the surprising answer to the question, was Arnold the Pig eaten? Green Acres, we are there. In the 1960s, rural TV comedies were ratings hits, and CBS was the king of country TV sitcoms, airing such series as The Beverly Hillbillies and Petticoat Junction. Petticoat Junction ultimately created a spin-off, Green Acres, with both series based in and around the small town of Hooterville. Green Acres told the story of attorney Oliver Wendell Douglas, played by Eddie Albert, and his wife Lisa, played by Ava Gabor, who moved from New York City to the tiny burg of Hooterville. Lisa wants to stay in the Big Apple, but Oliver has dreams of becoming a farmer and escape the rat race of urban life. The couple purchases a small farm in Hooterville, much to the puzzlement of their wacky neighbors, Mr. Haney, Ebb, and Mr. Kimball. The Ziffles also live in Hooterville, along with Arnold the Pig, whom the childless Ziffles treat as their son. In real life, Arnold the Pig was trained by one of the most legendary animal trainers in Hollywood, as Green Acres director Richard L. Bear recalled. Now, who was the trainer for Arnold? It was a guy by the name of Frank Inn, who was probably the most famous animal trainer in the history of Hollywood. Is a pig as easily trainable as a dog or cat? Well, Frank always said that a pig was uh, much easier to train than any other animal. Frank Inn was famous for having trained such celebrity animal legends as Asta the Dog in the Thin Man movies, Orangey the Cat in Breakfast at Tiffany's, and Tramp the Dog from the TV series My Three Sons. But Frank Inn's most famous critter was Higgins the Dog from Petticoat Junction. Higgins would go on to Hollywood superstardom as the legendary Benji the Dog in the smash hit Benji series of movies. Arnold the Pig's talent and intelligence were extraordinary, as co-author of the book The Encyclopedia of TV Pets, Ken Beck, explains. Pretty much everything you saw Arnold doing on Green Acres, he really did those things. It wasn't any fancy camera work or special effects. You know, he actually could turn on the television, he could go out and pick up the newspaper, he actually could pick up the newspaper and put it in a little red wagon and then pull the wagon across the room. So a lot of things that you might think, well, you know, a dog could do that, but I don't know about a pig. Arnold the Pig became perhaps the show's most popular character, receiving thousands of fan letters every year and winning three Patsy Awards, which are the animal equivalent of an Emmy Award. Like his human counterparts, Eddie Albert and Ava Gabor, Arnold received a star's salary, $250 per day, which is approximately $2,000 per day in today's money. Arnold the Pig was such a popular character that CBS considered creating yet another spin-off series called Arnold, but the project ultimately got stuck in the mud and never made it to air. In 1970, CBS decided to appeal to a more modern, urban, and sophisticated audience, so the network purged all of their rural comedies, including Green Acres. Since the cancellation of Green Acres, shocking rumors have circulated that the cast of the show celebrated the end of the series by cooking and eating Arnold the Pig. Did that really happen? Was Arnold the Pig eaten? Co-author of the Encyclopedia of TV Pets, Ken Beck, provides the answer. They shot the pilot episode with, with this pig. 
and several months elapsed, and of course the pig grew very fast and got to be very big. And this, by the way, is going to uh, put an end to a, an urban myth. It's, it's been in different websites. You will find that they ate, at one point, they actually cooked and ate Arnold. And while they did cook him, they didn't eat him because they had actually butchered him and had him sitting on the table. This is what Frank N. told me. And were prepared to have a ham dinner when he got a phone call saying that Green Acres had been picked up and they needed a pig. So they didn't eat that pig. In reality, there wasn't just one. Arnold the pig. Every season they had to train about six new little pigs to play Arnold at the beginning of each season because pigs grow so fast. You know, you couldn't use the same pig the next year. So how did Arnold, or Arnold's, spend their golden years? Frank Ann lived way out in the country, outside of Los Angeles. Uh, one of his neighbors actually also worked in the movie business, and he supplied animals for barnyard scenes. He didn't train animals. They're just like if you see a cow or some chickens in the background. And so when the Arnolds grew to be too big to do the show, Frank gave him to uh, his neighbor, and he used them, you know, like I say, for background scenes. So TV history will show that unlike the original Arnold the Pig, who was the biggest ham on Green Acres, all of the Arnolds that followed never became ham dinners. If you've enjoyed your journey on the TV time machine, please like and subscribe. We look forward to having you again on the TV time machine.